weeks ago we were thinking it was springtime, but you said, hey, winter's not over yet. Just wait. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it came back. Came back uh, flexing its muscles, that's for sure, because it is cold out there. This is our coldest weather of the entire winter. Remember, it got cold after Christmas, too, but not this cold. 30 degrees right now in town. East winds at 20 miles an hour, and that's making it feel even colder. The highs today as well. It's unusual to stay in the 30s, especially this late into February. I mentioned that earlier. It only happens less than 10% of the time where we have high temperatures below 40 degrees. And most of the time when that happens in February, it happens in the first half of the month, not in the latter half of the month like it is right now. Hermiston stay below freezing 20s in Eastern Oregon, only 23 for high in Baker City. Now it, it's interesting. There's a few clouds offshore here, but that system, there's not much to it. And the main bulk of the system has already already rather dive south into California, and this is great. They're getting rain. They're getting mountain snow. They've got cool temperatures. They need that in California as we do here in the Northwest. So big area high pressure out here, but not here in the West. We've got low pressure, so we're getting the snow and the cold cold air. And in fact, some snow has bubbled back northward in the Malheur County, so winter weather advisory continues there. Now tomorrow should be clear once again. Then on Thursday, we'll get a system up here in northern BC drop down through the inland part of Oregon and Washington. So we call that an inside slider, and that'll produce a few snow flurries, as you will see. In the meantime, we've got a freeze warning on the southern Oregon coast, and there's the winter weather advisory in Malheur County for that wraparound snowfall coming north from Nevada. Clear all day long. Tomorrow's going to be another beautiful day. It will be cold, even colder tomorrow morning. And then this is interesting. This is Thursday morning. Latest run of the model is generating a little batch of light snow over Clark County and Multnomah County. I think flurries at best, maybe a dusting, not enough to impact traffic by afternoon, evening. That all melts away. We're back to a clear sky, and that continues on Friday. Then over the weekend, instead of this northerly flow, and here's that inside slider. It's just this weak little dip right there. That moves on down to the south, and then notice the westerlies pushing on in. So I think Saturday now looks dry, and then rain will begin with mountain snow on Sunday, and it looks like an active pattern next week with several systems coming our way, which is great. We need to keep the precipitation going here during the normally rainy months here in the northwest. So up until, well, through that Thursday system, look at that, just three-tenths of an inch of snow up on Mount Hood. So those are the flurries on Thursday, right? A little bit more in Anthony Lake. See, as it goes to the east, that inside slider bit. But then over the weekend and beyond, we start to pile up the snow in the Cascades. 20 inches Mount Hood, 28 inches basically down at Willamette Pass, and 33 inches at Mount Bachelor. So again, that's beginning Thursday and then going through next, uh, sorry, beginning Sunday, going through next Thursday into March, we should be seeing a fairly productive pattern for mountain snow and valley rain. But in the meantime, it's all about the cold. It's 30 right now. Freezing level did jump up to 1300 feet. It's now to sea level, of course. Now, and speaking of sea level, clear and cold on the coast with lows in the low 20s on the beaches and highs only in the low 40s. That'll be the only place to break into the 40s tomorrow in Oregon. I think some of the valley locations, I think those forecasts might be a bit high. It might see a 40 or 41, but record cold in the morning with a 17 in Corvallis, low 20s in many areas and teens in many other areas. Minus 7 at Timberline by morning, minus 8 at Meadows, and there will be wind chill. So yeah, fairly dangerous conditions in the morning. Just don't have any uh, exposed skin. It's going to be up there. Clear, very cold central and eastern Oregon with lows down in the single digits and even below zero there in the gorge. We're also looking at very windy conditions for the west side of the gorge and cold temperatures down in the teens pretty much everywhere. The wind chills will be down around zero for the west end of the gorge of that strong east wind that we have. And then bitter cold in Portland tonight, 19. That'll be a new record low, 15 up in Longview. Not as windy by afternoon. The east winds will back off 39 tomorrow. Then we're back in the 30s on uh, 40s on Thursday. 50s on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The clouds begin to roll in Saturday. I think the rain holds off till Sunday, but uh, I'm excited to see the mountain snow uh, coming. Well, we had a lot over the last couple of days, but more on the way, Laurel, as we go into the weekend. What would this February be without an inside slider? Yeah, you know, that's inside baseball. But <laughs> <laughs> Mother Nature stealing our hearts. There you go. Thank you, Matt. From the skies.